What is going on my dudes? Welcome to another Channel CG video. Today we have a few things that I wanted to show you guys and to talk about and to get done. I think it's only fair that I throw it all kind of into one little video. So I do hope you guys enjoy. Some of this footage comes from actually before we ended up parking the PTGC for the winter weather. So that would have been filmed like, I don't know, a week ago maybe? Something like that. Then the next bit was filmed more recently. So we're gonna kind of throw it all together and make a nice little edit for you guys. And we're gonna have some fun toward the end, so be sure and stay tuned. The next video you see, we're going to be doing some crazy crazy stuff to this car as a matter of fact by the time you're watching this there might already be some progress being made and the parts might already be here for us to actually get started on completely transforming the look of this car it's going to be awesome we're gonna have so much fun with this car and we're gonna make so many videos that you guys have wanted to see for such a long time so i'm gonna be sure and smash that subscribe button if you haven't already turn on those notifications so that you know exactly when the stuff comes out and you can be right on top of the action here because it is about to get crazy so without further ado guys let's go ahead and get started on installing this really cool custom little mod for the PTGT. Oh, In just a minute, Dean is actually stopping down. He helped me out and he actually basically built a really cool custom catch can for the PTGT. I've had a lot of oil in the intake over the years because, you know, turbo car things, it happens. And especially more recently, I noticed that there was just a decent amount of buildup. There was more than I would ever want to see. So I asked you guys in one of the live streams that I do on Instagram, what you guys thought about us actually building some sort of little catch can instead of just going out and buying one, which anybody can do. You guys thought that was a cool idea. So I ended up talking with Dean, giving him my idea and he threw something together because he is way more brilliant with that stuff than me so he's apparently gonna be here in a minute and then we can go ahead and check that out there's the Chevy Sentry hey what's up oh wow look at this looks pretty good you painted it and everything I, I primed it so oh primed all, it okay dude that yeah, looks so sweet blank canvas I don't know what color you want to paint it but. yeah well, let me see this wow that's just JB weld too yeah that's incredible yeah there's a couple little spots like it's not a hole but no, oh, yeah. That's, I, I mean, think once you paint it, it'll cover all that. Yeah, it's not like it has to be perfectly sealed any, or anything, but... Yeah, I had a couple of fails. Like, I, my first try, I don't know what happened. It didn't, like, stick, and it just broke yeah. right off. And then I had to sand it all JB Weld's down. a pain like that. Yeah, <laughs> but it turned out pretty good. Oh, that is incredible. It feels really solid. I am, so. I am really excited. It's going to fit perfect down in there and be kind of incognito, but... Oh, that's so cool, dude. By the way, congratulations on the new truck. Yeah. I saw that. Doing a bunch of work to it before I put it on the road. Now, what does it need? Shocks and... Yeah, shocks, and I'm lifting, I'm lifting the front end three inches. Oh, nice. To, uh, to do level the leveling kit, kind of, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice looking that's truck. That's gonna be my, like, my uh, country boy truck. Yeah, for real. Eventually, no, I wanna put bigger tires on it, too. Yeah, I expected kind of like a long bed, single cab, you know, this kind of work truck looking thing. Yeah. I don't know why from just the way you said it, but when I saw the picture, I was like, that is cool. Yeah, like, that's a good bed, deal, so. man. Yeah. So I've been debating what to do with the catch can. I kind of almost like the gray look that he sprayed it with this primer, but I think we are going to go ahead and give it one final top coat. In the back of my messy cabinet here, I have some of my favorite high performance enamel. Not sponsored or anything, but I just use this stuff a lot and I always say how awesome it is because it is. It doesn't require much prep and it sticks pretty good and it has a pretty nice finish too. So I'm going to go ahead and spray some of this on the catch can and then I will show you my simple little idea for mounting it up under the hood. job turned out looking pretty fire other than the fact that I scratched it a little bit but I think it's gonna be perfect that's gonna keep it nice and protected down in the engine bay but I just want to say really quick that this is actually made of stainless steel it's like a stainless steel water bottle that this started its life as and then Dean basically just used some JB weld made a little plate for the top and uh, put these little fittings in it's just threaded like pipe fittings that I had laying around but the hose fit on those perfectly so we ended up using them basically just prepped everything really good and used some sort of like JB weld that I had put it together since it was different kinds of metal and this was stainless steel that was just the easiest way to go so now we're good to go with the paint we can go ahead and start installing this thing so right down in here there's actually this little spot right here that was a mount for the stock air box I think I'm going to utilize that somehow and use some strap metal to attach the bottle and have it just setting like right here and then the PCB hose can come down into the side of it and it'll just come straight up and into the intake but before I do that I'm going to mask all this area off clean this up a little bit and paint these little metal I guess heater hose lines I don't know why they're metal here they come down around probably because they get so close to the engine I'm going to mask off best I can and uh, spray them with a little 
little bit of that Rust-Oleum as well, because that is like, you can see it's all rusty and crusty looking. I don't know why, but it needs to get cleaned up first, and then we'll go ahead and make a little mount. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get to cleaning up that line. Well, I left a couple bolts that I need to finish the mount for the catch can in. My sister's car I actually rode with her. She was going to tractor supply and I went and got some bolts that are gonna work, I think, pretty perfect for our little catch can setup and my idea for a mount. But of course, I forgot to get them out of the car. So in the meantime, I got the heater over here and we're gonna do a couple things to the touring that I really wanna do. And the first thing is we are going to tint these reverse lights. Well guys, um, this side turned out actually pretty good. This side, however, I don't know what just happened. I was doing other stuff and then I came back and looked and it just, it did this, which looks really, really bad. I was really careful about doing nice even coats. I took every precaution, but I think it was partly because the heater was kind of over here more than it was over here. And maybe it was just not curing like it was supposed to because it's so freaking cold out. So I'm gonna let the heater run on that for a little while. And I just accidentally turned it off because I moved it. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and let the heater run on that for a little while, let it cure, and then I'm going to peel it and redo it really quick. Off camera, but I think this is definitely going to improve the rear end of this car for sure. Also, this car's sound system isn't too bad for being factory. It bumps okay, but we're definitely going to be upgrading the whole thing very soon. But for now, this speaker is completely shot. It doesn't play anything. It's completely blown out. The rest of them sound okay, and none of them are blown out or anything like that, but that one is. But thankfully, over here in my mess of spare parts, I have a spare little speaker right here that we're gonna go ahead and throw in there. The cone and everything looks really good. It looks like it was like never used. For the time being, I have plans to do a little bit of an upgrade. If you guys couldn't already tell, I'm a little bit of a car audio nerd. <laughs> Shout out to NCS as always, but I made an interesting discovery. Um, this speaker still is not working. But here's the discovery, watch this. This is the front speakers. I don't even think that tweeter's working. That's working. This isn't doing anything. And that mid is really blown out, like listen. <laughs> it's so blown. And then just that. That is still blown out. So all that bass I was hearing is coming from a little bit bumping from that blown one and then the rear. Sounds not too bad. So the rear's in really good shape, but I don't know why that's not working. I don't know why that's not working. Looks like my sound system's a little bit bigger of a mess than I thought. <laughs> okay, that's a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> Got both the lights fixed up off camera real quick. This tint looks really, really good. It's obviously not barely as dark as that tint. That tint was like professional, like actual paint, paint based or whatever you want to say, tint. Like that's, that's permanent. That's not coming off. I took my time, did a really, really, really good job with them and they look amazing. These lights, I would take them out and do something similar, but I honestly don't know how they come off unless the whole bumper has to come off to take them off, which taking the bumper off is a big pain and I don't wanna to have to do that. So this temporary tint looks a lot better for now. I almost like that it's a little bit lighter because I feel like it contrasts with the red a little bit better. It doesn't look too crazy. Nightshade tint like that, I feel like they might look a little bit funny, but I don't know. I think it looks really good for now. Someday we'll do something a little different, but we're gonna take this car out later and get it cleaned up and do some other stuff. So be sure and stay tuned. But for now, let's go ahead and finish up this catch can. It's a beat by flow.
All right, well, my mount worked okay, but definitely not as well as I had hoped. I don't remember how much of this I filmed, but basically I used some strap metal and a small bolt and another small bolt with a big like body washer to hold it on there. Pretty simple, just kind of rigging it. And it works okay. It's just that the way it sets in here, it's just not stable at all, even though it is really easy to pull it out. Just not really happy with the way that is fitting up. So I think I have an idea of something we're gonna do a little bit differently. I want this to be a fairly simple design so that I can easily pull it in and out and check the level. And I think I have a solution to that. It's still rigging it, but at least it'll be in there nice and secure. All right, I ended up using something a little bit more simple actually to mount the catch can in here. And what it actually is, it's just a big worm drive clamp. What I had before was almost a little overkill and this will allow me to easily just kind of unscrew it, slide the can out, check the level, clean it out and things like that. I don't actually have it hooked up yet and I just realized I forgot to get clamps. So I'm not even gonna bother since, well, this car isn't really being driven right now anyways. But I got a little piece of hose just to kind of test fit. And it looks like that's gonna work out pretty good. It's not really crimping the hose or anything. It's just enough of an angle that it works perfect for the vent. And then I think um, this will be similar. It starts over here and kind of ends down there so we'll have a little bit of room for it to curve and i think everything is going to work out pretty good and honestly i think that looks pretty freaking cool so again be sure to go hit the subscribe button on dean's channel i know he's planning to make some videos in the future and i really want him to make some more videos because i miss his content so be sure and go hit that subscribe button check out his videos are really cool and big shout out to him for all of his work and everything he's helped me with in the past and for building that catch can so with that being said there wasn't really too much going on with that um just really installing that catch can and like i keep saying we have so much to come with this car but it's just bigger stuff that's gonna take a little longer for it to unfold so in the meantime we got a lot of exciting stuff coming for this car and with that being said i think there's only one way to properly finish up this video Some of that car wash sucked. <laughs> but it still got the car looking pretty dang good considering, and that is thanks to Flitz's amazing sealant. I don't promote that stuff enough, but you guys seriously, if you haven't tried out Flitz's sealant, they've been a sponsor of the channel for a really long time. Actually, they were the first real affiliate that we had here on the channel, and I love them. I love their products. They're amazing people. Be sure and go cop yourself some sealant. This is the perfect time of year to make sure that your car is all detailed and sealed up because that stuff makes washing the car, especially this time of year, absolutely amazing. So again, big shout out to Flitz, but the car is looking really, really good. I really couldn't ask for much cleaner of a daily. This car is really, really nice. Really excited to transform it in true channel CGE fashion. We are gonna have so much fun with this car in the next couple of videos, so be sure and turn on those notifications if you haven't already so that you can stay on top of the action. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video, and thanks for keeping up to speed on the latest with the cruisers. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you all so much. God bless, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.